Yeah, so Tex is not going to play. Uh, it's got a bit of a glute. Um, the reality is that Tex's preparation has been pretty interrupted right from pre-season. And so uh, he's had a series of niggles that have come up along the way. Um, and we just need to get him, just need to get him fully fit. So uh, that's, the, that's the space he's in. He's going to undergo a program that will get him back to being 100% so he can perform at the level that, uh, that we need and that he wants to be able to achieve. Uh, as long as it takes, mate. It'll be, um, but he'll be 100% when he comes back. Is that no time frame? Not at this stage, but it won't be. It won't be extended, but it'll be a period of time that allows him to get physically able to perform. So is there a tear in his glute? Or what's no tear, happen? no tear, but uh, some irritation back glute, um, which means that he just can't. I mean, he completed the game as we saw, uh, but he just he's restricted. So is, is it related to the hamstring injury that he had previously? Unrelated, new, new incident, but the, the issue is that his pre-season wasn't complete and therefore he's had an interrupted preparation which has left him susceptible to a range of things that have gone on through the first half of the year. So, so is that no time real? frame? What, what's the likely, likelihood of, would, would, do you expect it would just be, I mean, must have some expectation, would it be maybe one, could it be two, longer, what, what's your... It's it'll just be as long as it, it needs to be, mate. It'll be, um, it'll be him getting himself fully prepared to play at 100% and so he's, he's not miles off that so in terms of is it you know six ten weeks no it's not that sort of range but he needs to do the work that he's able to get out there and perform at the level. During the game yeah so he came off during the game and uh, but fortunately for us was able to get back out there and still compete and obviously that's that's what he wants to do, uh, but we just need to allow him to do it at 100%. So that's, uh, that's the space. Have you given up that on Ben Davis? Yeah, so he's ready to roll. Uh, he obviously had a similar thing, came off, but went back out, was able to complete the, uh, complete the game, had, a f had his first child, and everything seems to be better in life. <laughs> so he's right to go. He's ready to roll. Yeah, Riley Knight won't play, um, so he's uh, he's in a similar space in terms of his preparation, and we we just need to give him the opportunity to uh, to be in pretty similar to Tex in a lot of ways to get right and uh, and get ready to perform. Uh, Knight is not hammy; it's uh, tendon. Um, so we're we're <laughs> discussing the edges, uh, but it's it's his tendon rather than his hamstring. So ha hamstring, tendon, Knight Yeah, that's it, mate. Tendon. Yeah. Um, Luke Brown and Matt Crouch have played both. Um, selection tonight will determine that uh, whether or not we get we get all of our players out there, but uh, we're ready to roll. Is the big concern at the moment that we've got any injuries in our way? Uh, look, it's you know every team has their their period of, of injuries, and we've we've got a few. That's that's a reality. But ultimately, we just get out there and we perform. What we've been able to do through the first half of the year is to win five games and lose three, and. The reality is that we'll put fit players out on the park and we'll, we'll get ready to win this game. We've, we've got great confidence in the players that are going to be out there and that's the, that's the bit that you focus on. So with Brown and Matt Crouch, are they sore? Yeah, we've got players, that, like any time you've got a six day turn, you've got, uh, you've got players that need to get, get up and get ready to play. How tough is the task, obviously, McGovern's gone, Walker's there, two of your best forwards, you assume probably would come in, but how tough, Pikey said yesterday, getting players back and now more players out. We're ready to perform. Uh, the reality is we'll put 22 fit ones out there and they'll play at the level and we reckon we can get a result. Um, we've been able to do it thus far and we'll continue to do it going forward. So it's a no excuses mentality, is that pretty much what That's footy, mate. Every, every club has their challenges. At the moment that's a challenge for us, but we're more than ready to meet it. So in real terms, with Tex, is it like he's back stiff and are you feeling any bit of pain, like joys a leg, or can you give us like, instead of a, how it relates footy, why like in real terms, is he just sore and what? You know, you end up coming off with glute, glute pain uh, and a bit of stiffness through the back and, uh, and just hasn't been able to get back to 100% in order to perform this week. So is that like, unrelated to any other issues? Like, I know he's got his knee, obviously, a couple of years back, all that sort of minor stuff. Is that? I guess the, if you want to draw a relationship, it's that he, his pre-season was interrupted and therefore we were asked him to come in and perform in a really intense competition and just at the moment the body's not right where he wants it to be. So... The only relationship is that his interrupt was an interrupt to the preseason. Is he starting to wear on you guys and the club to have him to constantly fight off questions about injury? I'm loving it. <laughs> 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 Last couple of guys. Yeah. Yeah. For the Last Western Bulldogs, obviously, how big a challenge are they? Yeah, uh, no, their form line's really solid. And, uh, you know, they've gone 
they've had a slight change in style uh, after the Fremantle game. They've gone back to sort of run and gun, which was the model which they obviously won the Premiership under. And so we've got to be ready to be you know, at our best in terms of our pressure to make sure that we can uh, shut down you know, what is a, you know, a, real, a real genuine threat. What about the fact that they lost the hit-outs really significantly against Brisbane last week and still won the clearance? So obviously their midfield are great at stoppages. How do you go about that? Yeah, so their model is a little bit different. They don't rely on <coughs> ruck dominance and, and connection. They basically disrupt and then they hunt really strongly at ground level. Their clearance numbers are right up there in the, at, towards the top echelon of the league. So it's, uh, it's not a situation where uh, they're, you know, it's not Sandlands where we're going to have to negate an opposition ruckman of that style, but they're very good in the hunt and their ruckman also gets involved in that. So it's a different model, um, but it's a model which is working pretty effectively for them. I spoke to Pike yesterday about the McRae and Bond competitors. The young kid just played for Newell called Bailey Williams. What do you know about him? He's sort of having a... Yeah, so he's coming, he's coming through. And, that, and when you look at the dog side, they've got a lot of young players that are taking their opportunities. So... Um, in some ways, it's a bit of a model. You, you put these guys in with talent, and they uh, and they can perform. So, yeah, he's uh, he's in the mix. He's uh, we, he, I like his headshot. Have you seen his headshot on the AFL? Oh, <laughs> it's a beauty. <laughs> Oh, well, the system is the system. We, we, it doesn't, you know, ultimately the personnel change, but the system is, is what we play at both AFL and SANFL level. So the guys coming in are aware of their role and it's a matter of them fulfilling it to the, you know, to the best of their capabilities. And thus far, they've done that really, really in a really positive fashion. So different mix, but in some cases that gives you an opportunity to see something a little bit different as well. Some of those guys have come in and had a real impact. So we're, we're more than comfortable with, uh, with what we've got. So I think the moves and changes to the program might be a question for Brett, but have you seen any changes that you've made in the last couple of weeks to your footy program that has given you a bit of confidence that this will stop happening? The reality is that our program is, is really thorough. Uh, we, we look at everything that we're doing and we've got a real, real confidence in our team. Uh, they've been really consistent over a number of years and, and we just keep backing them in. Thanks, guys.